moon this is the natural satellite of earth it is our nearest neighbor in the space of course we sent hundreds of satellites artificial satellites to move around the earth for communication purposes for research purposes but the moon is a natural satellite do you know what is an artificial satellite yes an artificial satellite is a man made satellite it's an electronic device which circulates around earth which is used for research as well as a communication purpose isro indian space research organization which is a government organization related to the space research in india it has placed a number of artificial satellites around the earth aryabhatta baskara rohini insat these are various indian satellites revolving around the earth now motion of the moon the moon revolves around the earth and earth revolves around the sun therefore moon also revolves around the sun along with the earth the moon revolves around the earth once in about 27 and 1 by 3 days this is the time taken by moon to complete one revolution around the earth this time is called sidereal month the period from new moon to next new moon or full moon to next full moon is about 29 and 1/2 days this is the time taken by the moon to complete one revolution around the earth with reference to sun this time is called synodic month sidereal month is 27 1 by 3 days synodic month is 29 and 1/2 days what is the difference between sidereal and synodic suppose if earth is stationary when we can say moon completes one revolution around the earth yes if it moves 360 degrees i'm considering earth is stationary if it moves 360 degrees then we can say it is completed one revolution but earth is not stationary earth is moving around the sun we have to see the moon with respect to sun in this month earth moves from this position to this position around it moves 30 degrees around the sun when this moon completes 360 degrees then you cannot see full moon if it move 30 degrees further then only you can see full moon this is with respect to sun so the motion of moon with respect to sun is 29 and 1/2 days this is called synodic month sidereal month the time taken by moon to move 360 degrees around the earth when earth is stationary and synodic month this is the time taken by moon to move around the earth with respect to sun or the time taken between two full moons or two new moons like earth the moon is also almost like a spherical ball the diameter of the moon is about 3500 kilometers that is approximately 1/4 of the earth and the distance of moon from the earth is 384000 kilometers the temperature on the surface of the moon is either very high or very low when the sun shines on its surface the temperature rises to 110 degree celsius when there is no sunlight the temperature drops to minus 150 degree celsius do you know why the temperature has this large variation in case of earth when sun shines the temperature rises to about 40 to 45 degree celsius when there is no sunshine the temperature falls to 15 degrees or 13 degree celsius here we find no large variation in highest and lowest temperatures but on moon we find there is a lot of variation in highest and lowest temperatures not only on the moon the same thing you can find in case of other planets also do you know the reason yes 
the reason is earth has atmosphere because of the atmosphere of the earth there is no huge variation between high temperature and low temperature because of this atmosphere we have life on earth there is no life on other planets the moon is a non luminous body it has no light of its own it only reflects the light of the sun falling on the surface when this reflected light reaches the earth then only we see the moon only that part of the moon is visible to us where the light is reflected on the new moon day when the moon is in between sun and earth no reflected light reaches the earth therefore moon is not visible to us that is we can see only the dark side of the moon when this moon is moving around the earth when it come to this place then the light reflects from only this part of the moon we can see this part this is called crescent moon only the light reflecting from this part can reach the earth similarly when moon comes to this position we can see this part of the moon when the moon is at this position we can see this part of the moon similarly when moon comes to this position then we can see the complete moon again when it is moving to this position it appears to be becoming smaller this is waning moon and at this position we find only half of the moon again at this position we find the crescent moon at this position we cannot see the moon when the moon is moving around the earth because of the motion of the moon around the earth we see the different shapes of the moon and this waxing and waning of the disk of the moon every night as it revolves around the earth is called the phases of the moon from new moon day the crescent goes on increasing every day till the 15th day the full face of the moon is visible this is full moon day and from this position the bright face of the moon goes on decreasing every night by another 15 days again new moon day is formed these are called the different faces of the moon can you give any examples for the effect of gravitational pull of moon on earth yes the tides what are the tides the rise or fall of water level on sea takes place twice a day in an interval about 12 hours this regular rise or fall of water level of sea is called tide the reason for these tides are gravitational pull of the moon on the earth let us consider three places a b c which are the different distances from the moon at this position the mass of sea water strongly attracted by the moon due to gravitational pull therefore the sea water tends to bulge outward towards the moon the rock crust of the earth under sea water it should not bulge the reason is it is so rigid but at this position the mass of the sea water will be attracted less than the same mass at a earth as a whole will pull away from the sea water at c therefore producing a bulge on the opposite side of the earth from a thus on the whole the sea water bulges up at a and c resulting in the rise of level of sea water this is called high tide and the sea water at d and e is at low level because of low attractive force and is called low tide generally speaking at any place of sea shore a high tide occurs in about 12 hours whereas time gap between a high tide and a low tide is about 6 hours what are the advantages of these tides yes during high tide the water level in harbor rises this results the bigger ships can move into the harbor and unload 
the high tide clears the seashore from garbage, waste, etc. High tides at suitable places are used for generating electricity. Thank you.